Okay, I have a lot to talk about during this video. So, first things first, um, I, during recording, the, during the recording of, god oh, damn, during the recording of this video, I was incredibly sick. I actually had quite a bit of a health scare, but, uh, now it's getting better. I still have some more just stuff to go through, but so far it has gotten better, so that's good. And I wanted to implement a new thing into my videos that instead of just having the montages and playing music, every time I have a montage, I'll just have like a mini podcast. And just talk about whatever, like whatever the comments want me to talk about or anything. So anytime there's a montage, just talk about anything I want and what else add more to say oh the uh, the challenge is still on for every like and subscriber again between episodes I will do one backflip and yeah and actually uh, just like finished editing the video so I had to think of someone to talk about on the fly for another like four minutes while this montage is going on but I'll talk a little bit about what the what health thing I was going through so basically I came back from a trip and I noticed the uh, the day I went back to work I like looked in the mirror and then I saw that the left side of my neck was incredibly swollen like it was ridiculous <laughs> though I didn't really feel anything like I could feel like some pressure when I swallowed on the left side but nothing really too bad but then a few days later it started to really hurt like I could not fall asleep because I was in so much pain so I eventually went to the doctor and they were like Hmm, that's crazy. That's not something that should happen because their big point why they were worried is because I hadn't been I haven't been sick recently, so there's no reason why my lymph nodes should swell up like that. So she just took my blood, gave me prescribed me some antibiotics, and I say nothing really came of that. I can't. I right now. My uh, my throat doesn't hurt anymore, but in this episode when it's like past me talking, my throat was in incredible pain. You could especially hear it at the end of the video when my vo voice is very weak. But it doesn't feel like the uh, the antibiotics. I don't really think they did anything, but because I was still in a lot of pain while taking them, but now my lip nodes are still swollen, but I feel fine. Like, I feel fine as in completely normal, as if nothing had happened, so which is good. But now I still need to, like, as I said earlier, still need to do some other stuff to make sure I'm okay. And, yeah, that's about it. That's about everything that was wrong with my, <laughs> with my health. Let's see. Oh, there was something else I want to talk about. This is completely unrelated. I just thought it was a funny story. I was driving home from work one of the days, and uh, I clipped the curb, like, the tiniest, tiniest bit. Like, I gave it a, a, a love tap, and my tire basically exploded. I just, I tapped it, and then I heard, Psss! I was like, Ooh. So then I had to, so obviously I like pulled into a parking lot and I had to change my tire. Luckily I know how to change my tire, so it wasn't too bad, but I just was so mad during the entire thing because I barely touched that curb and I will stand by that. I was so mad at that. Anyways, I think I am running out of time for this little pot this this mini cast, so uh 
let's get back to past me uh, explaining what I just did. I just want to say one last thing before I switch back is that in the beginning saw me mining diamonds, I saw that like a swamp mining method for diamonds and I spent like three hours or two hours mining and I just figured like after at the end I figured out it didn't work that's why I stopped. So I'm just gonna say I'm really mad about that. All right, that's the only thing I want to say. See you guys later. After many, many hours, I have finally finished the villager breeder. About halfway through, when I was building the railway over here, I just thought, hmm, I could have used nether portals from the village to all the way over here. But my thought was, uh, I already built the... Uh, I already built the pathway, so might as well use the rails, even though it made this take a lot longer than it should have, but as you can, as you can see, it works, which is all good, and, uh, yeah, finally got done with this. I hope, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, huh, if I reset my spawn point, but I hope we had a nice chat during the, uh, montage. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but I'm sure it was something entertaining. I mean, I doubt it, but something I just wanted to share. <laughs> All right. Now that we are finally done with the villager breeder, it's time to start collecting the ender pearls. And I'm a little nervous for that part because uh they're still very strong, even though I have enchanted armor and, you know, I have protection on at least two of my pieces. They're still very strong. So, I still need to enchant my diamond armor as well. So, probably going to go quartz mining for experience and also try to find one of the, what's that? What's the biome called? The blue one. I forgot. Try to find the blue biome for all the Endermen. Uh, I'll probably try the boat trick. Just stick them on a boat so they can't fight back. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be the plan. And I'm, I will probably do the rest of the villager stuff in the next episode. Because I'm, I'm villagered out, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> It was very annoying getting, cause it is so far away. <laughs> it, it's it's not that far away, but when you are too lazy to place down powered rails, it makes it a lot harder to use the furnace minecart. Makes it a lot more inconvenient. But I did check that is in the spawn chunk, so it does work even when I'm not next to it. So. Keep saying so, I, I don't know what to say. In the next episode, I'm going to make, like, the iron farm and set up the trading hall and the farms, the automatic farms and stuff like that. But first, we got to see if I'm going to make it to the next episode. Because... <laughs> Like I said before, Ender Dragon is not that hard of a fight, but there's so much room for error that it's, it's a pretty hard fight. <laughs> but let's get on to a little, another little montage of me uh, killing Endermen and mining cords, so I'll get back to you guys in a second. Okay, now back to me again. <laughs> uh, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Getting this episode out really does feel nice to finally get it out because it was constantly weighing on my mind while I was not feeling well because I I was in so much pain that I didn't even want to like sit down to record, let alone edit for a while. So it was a hard time making this episode just being in so much constant pain. But I feel great now. I really do feel like nothing has happened though I still have to do still have to get the, these lumps checked out who knows maybe it's monkeypox because that's one of the symptoms for monkeypox uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> apparently, uh... My... Uh, yeah, apparently... My mom read, like, an article that... Monkey pox, like, has showed up in the U.S. recently. So... And one of the uh, symptoms is swollen lymph nodes, which is, you know, wrong with me, so... Maybe I only have one symptom of monkeypox, not all of them, which I think would be... Which I think would be pretty funny. I would love... I would absolutely love to be able to say that I have... That I've had monkeypox. That would be awesome. Ooh. Oh, I just lost... It was on the tip of my tongue. Oh, yeah. Another work story. So, during my break, uh, I ate at a restaurant my friend works at, and I just like sat down at the bar area because, you know, so I could talk to my friend easily. And they showed me like this clear bottle and asked me if I wanted to take a shot of it. So I just said yes. Because I assumed they wouldn't give me alcohol because I'm not 21 yet. <laughs> so they like showed me the bottle and then he got like super excited once I said yes. So he's like, oh, he started pouring in a shot glass and then uh, I, like, I picked it up and then he said, have you smelt it yet? And I smelt it. I did not smell anything and I just slammed it and, <laughs> and then instantly it was just just like this is kind of gross but then it was super hot and then i remembered him talking about something called <laughs> he called fire water and how he how he and his co-workers were like would like take shots of it so he could like handle the most so after i took my shot a few minutes later i found out that it was habanero extract i don't know the amount like the exact amount scoville it was but it was pretty hot <laughs> Like I like I like me some good amount of spice, but that was hot. It, it also didn't help that I was incredibly full, so it felt like the <laughs> that liquid was just like melting the uh, the food in my stomach. So yeah, that that kind of hurt. However, good thing is that I actually beat like I was the one who handled it the best, and I was the one who drank the most because apparently everybody else only took a half shot but i did an entire full shot and uh, uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it it did hurt though though it did actually dissipate after a few minutes which i was surprised for how hot it was that it just actually just disappeared so fast but yeah and now i gotta God, I completely just derailed my train of thought. Oh, uh, that that one. <laughs> I just had like an aneurysm. Uh, uh, yep, anyways, this montage is about to end as I get a lot of ender pearls from here. Just in a few seconds, sorry to spoil, but yeah, in a few seconds it should be come on. I'm watching this in real time, so I'm not so I'm not exactly sure when they appear. Get some more, but all right, yep. Oh, oh, any second now, she get like 14 or something. Oh, she got three more. All right, yep. And this is about where the where this ends. So, thank you guys for listening, and I will see you back. All right, uh, I gotta say, I am incredibly mad right now. <laughs> so. I beat the Ender Dragon, and I went looking for End Cities, and I found two, two End Cities right next to each other. And then once I reached here, I was like, ah, this is a good place to stop. So I went to go eat lunch, and then I went to um, look at the, the recording that I just did to see, just for reference, because I, I didn't take a screenshot of where like the portal back was but I did press F3 like during around that like you know little bedrock portal things and when I went to check it it was corrupted I've tried for several hours now everything that I could but 
I cannot get that file back. So, I cannot believe I lost the dragon fight. I am so upset right now. <laughs> However, we will fight the Ender Dragon again someday, and I will make sure that the recording does not get corrupted that time. I do not I do not think you understand how incredibly upset I am. But anyways, let's just let's just let's just let's just get through this this end city. Yeah, as you can see, I did beat the Ender Dragon, but I can't show you it. We'll we'll beat the Ender Dragon again someday. <laughs>